Have you ever came across a show that you've never heard of and none of your friends ever talked about or even remember? And then when you watched it, it just felt so nostalgic, like you've seen it a million times. Well, that's exactly what happened with Ghost Rider. Typically when I talk about an older show or a movie from the 90s, I have some sort of nostalgic connection with it. However, that's not the case with this show. I didn't even hear about it until I was about 23 or 24 when I was looking up hidden gems from the 90s and this show kept coming up. I kept thinking to myself, what is this show? Certainly I couldn't be the only one that doesn't remember Ghost Rider. So a while ago I put a poll up on my community page and sure enough, most of my audience didn't seem to remember it either. So on today's episode of Rad or Bad, we are going to take a look at Ghost Rider one of the most underrated kid shows from the 90s. If you can't tell already, and if you've seen my top 5 favorite PBS kid show video, then you already know how I feel about Ghost Rider. Spoiler, I think it's rad. Very, very rad. Like I said, I didn't find out about this show until my mid-20s, and I had to check it out. I knew very little about it other than it was a kid show that had something to do with a ghost and some mysteries. I was trying to find a streaming service like Amazon, Hulu, or Netflix to watch Ghost Rider on, but I was having no luck trying to find it. I was browsing YouTube one day, and sure enough, in one of my recommended videos, Ghost Rider, Episode 1, Ghost Story. So I clicked on it, and I was instantly hooked. Ghost Rider was produced by PBS and co-produced by Children's Television Workshop, which is now called Sesame Workshop and aired on PBS from October 4th of 1992 and lasted until February 12th of 1995 due to lack of funding. Over this two plus year run, it lasted three seasons. While doing some research for this show, I did hear from a few different sources that the first episode also aired in replace of X-Men on Fox Kids due to some sort of production issue, however, I can't find a lot of information to support this. So I know what you're thinking. It's on PBS and it's produced by Sesame Workshop. Great, it's another 90s learning show. Well, yeah, it's a learning show, but it's not like Dora the Explorer or a show like that that makes you feel, well, kind of stupid. See, Ghost Rider is so much more than that. So what is this show about exactly? Well, it's about a boy named Jamal and his group of friends, Lenny, Alex, Gabby, and Tina. Others would later join the group in different seasons, as well as their friendly, word-loving ghost sidekick they call Ghost Rider, and they solve mysteries and crime in Brooklyn, New York. The ghost, Ghost Rider, can only communicate with the kids using letters and groups of words that he comes in contact with. It could be a banner, text on a computer screen, or even text from a street sign. Also, Samuel L. Jackson plays Jamal's dad for three episodes in the first season, which is pretty rad. Ghost Rider shows kids how to use spelling, writing, and word association to help solve things. Like I said earlier, it doesn't beat you over the head with this concept, but it makes it feel fun and really makes you feel like you're also a member of the team solving the mysteries. Like, they just make it feel supernatural. Pun was totally intended. What's unique about Ghost Rider is that instead of trying to solve one mystery or crime in one season, they break up the seasons into different arcs, which makes it feel like you're reading a book. Altogether, there's a total of three seasons with a total of 18 arcs or chapters. There's a lot of great things about this show, but it's not perfect. It's an early 90s low budget educational show, so the acting can be very cheesy at times. Okay, most of the time. Also, the special effects aren't the best, but for the type of show it was and the era that the show is in, it's totally acceptable. Honestly, that's where the negatives end for me. It's a great show. The writing and the stories are fun and really engaging, and the theme song is pretty catchy and has that 90s low frame rate stop motion aesthetic. It's simple, but very 90s. Like I mentioned before, I have zero nostalgic connection to the show, yet it feels very nostalgic to me. This is the type of show I would have loved as a kid. Now, there is a remake of Ghost Rider on Apple TV+, Plus. however, they changed the whole concept of the show, and it doesn't look that great in my opinion. So is Ghost Rider rad or bad? Well, in case you missed what I said the first time, it's rad. Very rad. 
If you have kids or if you just want to watch a great show you might have missed out on as a kid, give it a shot. I think you'll really enjoy it.